Students at Madai College made their voices heard today after an incident with public safety officers. Four officers have been fired from the college after entering several student dorm rooms without permission. News 4's Kayla Green spoke to students today along with the college president about the actions taken by the school and what students say they still want to see done. Several Madai College students are here today protesting after several campus security officers entered students dorm rooms without notice. The incident happened on February 13th. Some officers weren't in uniform and none were with a residence hall representative, which is protocol. These four officers went in and were terrorizing students. There were some students who were unclothed and had no time to react to them coming in. Leia Slade was part of three meetings between campus administration and the Student Government Association. President Kenneth Maker says security footage was reviewed and the main offenders were removed from campus immediately. A few weeks later, two other officers were removed. Students protesting today say it took too long. When we continued to examine the tape of that day, we made a decision to have those individuals removed. And so it did take a little longer. Maker says he's agreed to all their demands and found out about today's protest and additional demands they have indirectly. They're surprised by our protest, but they shouldn't be because we're afraid. I have to go sleep in that dorm tonight uneasy because who knows what's going to happen. We don't know. We're still living in uncertainty. We recognize and do our best to acknowledge the trauma that our students have gone through, but we have not solved the crime problem on campus. We haven't figured out a way to make sure that nothing bad ever will happen again, and, I'm, and I wish I could. The president says he is committed to hearing the students' requests and will be willing to have further discussions with them. Students say it's just too little, too late. In Buffalo, Kayla Green, News 4.